TFNN. Headline News Update. Morning, folks. Tommy O'Brien. It's 9 a.m. It's Friday. It's July 21st. Let's take a quick look at what we have going on in the markets. So we have the Dow futures down 34 points currently. S&P futures down one. NASDAQ futures down 11. Oil trading at 46.55. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX 963 currently. All is well in the world of premiums in the market. Uh, no fear at all. Off marginally, off, obviously. We have earnings season coming in. We had Microsoft jumping around to some of the stocks that we may see some action in today. Microsoft reporting earnings last night, doing well for themselves. We had the stock trading much higher overnight, immediately on the news. Um, they were beating in their cloud revenue, their Azure, um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but trading back down, looks, looks like they're gonna open back kind of right around to where they were trading at. GE, let's take a look at GE. Check this out, trading. 25.90 and gaining some momentum to the downside right now. And we'll pull over a quick article, see what's going on. And they are having some problems. GE stock skids after earnings show report shows 12% drop in yearly revenue. So they came in with 28 cents versus 25, but you're talking about a 12% revenue slide and they beat expectations. 29.5 billion in revenue versus just 29, but down from 33 billion just 12 months ago for GE. So they're facing some heat this morning for sure. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform and we're gonna see what kind of action we have going on on the front on some of the binaries on the indices. Pull this baby up. So here's gold as well. Gold getting some action overnight. This is yesterday right here when we saw that huge jump at about 10 in the morning on Thursday, trading at 12.51.15, looking at the August contract right now. NASDAQ getting some action as well. You're seeing some heat this morning and that's Microsoft, of course, I'm sure weighing on that. And then what else do we have? Driving the markets, of course, currencies, the dollar. Euro, US dollar trading at right now 116.47. There was that dramatic move as we've seen the dollar weaken recently, dollar affecting commodities, affecting currencies. Um, so stay tuned, we should see some market action. Stay tuned all day. We got Larry Pesavento coming up at 9 a.m. with a great hour. I'll be back here with Tom at 10 o'clock, Basil Chapman at 11, swim lessons at 12, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and of course, Tom back here. Have a great day, folks. We'll talk to you in a bit. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors.